everyone, it's Lisa with BudgetEquestrian.com and today I'm going to show you how I clean my horse's stalls. So these are the supplies or tools that you're going to need to clean a stall. Um, Arm & Hammer baking soda, I use that for the wet spots. My homemade fly spray, I use that for the walls. This is a manure fork, this is called a dream fork. Um, it has the replaceable tines, which is really nice. So if one breaks or wears down, I can just get one of the little tines. It's very, I highly recommend having this fork. And then I also have just a plain old like leaf rake and I use that for the outside of the pens. And of course you can't really scoop poop very well unless you have a wheelbarrow. So I have my trusty wheelbarrow. This is what the horse's stalls look like one day after um, so I clean it in the evening or, and then in the morning, this is what it looks like when they, when I put them out for the day. Um, lots of poop that needs to be cleaned up. So that's what I'm going to do. First, I go to the piles that are pretty solid. Um, it's easier to remove them, the big like piles. So always start with the big solid piles and then work your way down to the little piles or like if they, you can see that he's spread it around a little bit in his stall, but he's a pretty neat horse. So they're not too much of a mess. So now I just find the other piles and remove it. And as you can see, there's a little bit of stuff dropping out from that fork, but it's not too bad. And this fork is wonderful. The next thing I'm going to do is take out the wet spot and I will remove all of the bedding from the wet spot. Then that's where he pees in his stall. Thankfully, he always goes in the same spot. So and unfortunately, that spot gets really wet and I don't have mats underneath there. It's just basically a clay ground. So I try to get the wetness out and then um, sprinkle some baking soda on it to help absorb the liquid that's remaining and then also the odors and now I am just running through and picking up the larger pieces of poop that I can that are just kind of random because he walks around in his stall and as you can see that the way that that fork is made it has like a cup in it so it holds the poop in it really well and you don't have little pieces of poop flying all over usually I say that and then that happens um, but it, it holds it in really well before and lets all of the, the good bedding drop out, which is really nice. But it's important to clean your horse's stall, I think at least once a day um, for, you know, the flies and the bugs. But you also want to keep in mind that cleaning their stall, then you're seeing how many times, how many piles of um, manure that you're cleaning up. And that can, you know, if you go out and clean it in the morning, and he's in all day and there's no poop in there, that could tell you something's wrong. So I think it's a really good idea to clean your horse's stall at least once a day. So I did put um, baking soda on the wet spot and now I'm using my homemade fly spray and just spraying around the edges of the barn. Um, and then I don't know if you can see it, but in the up on the rafters, I actually have um, bug pollens that are hanging up there. Those things are awesome. It really helps to keep the flies and um, any flying insects really out of the barn. There's not really a lot. So now I'm taking my little leaf rake and just basically raking up the outside um, his run. I like to use this because it's more flexible than the manure fork and that's a lot cheaper to replace um, instead of breaking a tine and replacing a tine on that. So this is how I clean my stalls. Um, like I said, I do it once a day. My horses seem to like it. They seem to be happy and healthy. So this works for me. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye.